So, you just bought Sea of Thieves and now you are in and you don't know what to do, but do not worry, that's why I'm here. So in today's beautiful video I will be guiding you on how to conquer the seas if you are just starting. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, when you load in you'll find yourself in the tavern, wander around and soak in the atmosphere. Now, it's time to pick up your ship, the solo sloop for solo adventures or the galleon for a crude experience. Choose what suits your style. A solo sloop, great option. So, you've just set sail into high seas and you're worried that you're going to get attacked. And eventually, you do. And you end up sinking. And you already quit the game thinking that it's, that it's bad and that you never want to play it again. But don't worry, my friend, I have the solution just for you. So, Rare introduced this thing called Safer Seas, but we will get onto that later on in the video. So, for now, what we are focusing on is high seas and how you can improve and do good voyages slash quests. High Seas has a lot of things to offer, such as quests that you can do and meet people that are doing the same things as you, eventually forming alliances, or maybe even guilds. The High Seas and Sea of Thieves offer quite the adventure too. You can sell, explore islands for treasure, battle other pirates, complete quests for different factions, fish, hunt for exclusive creatures and to tackle various challenges with your crew. So it's full of excitement. There are a few things that new players like you should stay away from. And those things are Reaper's Bones and the Hunter's Call. If you really want Pirate Legend and you want to level up to level 50 in 3 factions, then these are the factions to do it on. The Gold Hoarders. The Order of Souls. And the Merchant Alliance. After you reach level 50 in each faction, it will unlock something cool which I am not going to spoil. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's the subscribe button. Subscribe for good luck. Now, after you've seen that uh, little clip of the Pirate Legend thing, you might think that I'm going to go do voyages to get to level 50 as fast as possible. But I'm going to tell you a better way to do that. Instead of rushing to shitty voyages, then go do treasuries and shrines instead. Because they are so simple and easy and they give you top tier loot that you can sell to each faction for extra reputation and quite a bit of cash. You see, coral stuff that you get in treasuries and shrines are worth way more than normal loot, so it's more worth it doing shrines than anything else. After you reach level 25, you unlock a gold hoarder vaults uh, on gold hoarders, which I recommend doing because they get you about two levels per vault at lower levels. As you can see this mermaid on screen now, you can store any loot up to 20 pieces of loot into that mermaid and you can collect it after you return to your ship. This is amazing for newer players because then you don't have to carry each bit all the way up to your ship. And also if you want to be extra safe then get uh, go into settings, scuttle your ship while you're down there. Do not press scuttle and change seas, just the normal scuttle option and then uh, sail back to that sh same shrine, go collect it from this mermaid as shown on screen now, and all the loot should flow up ready for you to harpoon it. As you can see, all the loot is floating up from the water, and I can now harpoon it as fast as I can. Now we are moving on to safer seas, the thing that I was talking about earlier. The safer seas are obviously safer seas, but they are really good for new players in my opinion. Because safer seas, it's basically like a GTA private session. It's only you or your crew and nobody else. What I recommend doing is going over to this tent here. Then walk over to one of these tall tales. That's what they are called, tall tales. And honestly, these are really good for new players because you get to meet Jack Sparrow and it teaches you the basics of the game, like how to sail a ship and how to repair and how to fight. After you voted for this tall tale, you have to listen to this woman yapping on about something. It makes you want to fall asleep. But after you stopped 
listening to her, a green portal should appear. If you are doing these tall tales on high seas, it's not safe on high seas, but after you enter this portal, it is. It's basically like a safe area, so it is pretty nice. Another great thing to do as a new player is go in Maiden Voyage. This also teaches you the basics of the game and how to fight, raise and repair ships and dig up treasure. Each Tall Tale and Maiden Voyage tutorial has different perks and flaws. But there is one secret that they do not tell you. If you follow where I'm going now, you will find a secret underground bunker with loads of money. So if you go up this path, there will be a pond that you will have to search for a key up there. And once you unlock this bit here, you can go down and get your money. After you reach level 25, like I said on the shrine bit, you do end up getting a gold hard of vault. These get you about two levels. If you're under level 30, these get you about two levels per vault. And I recommend, I strongly recommend stacking them. But not if you are extremely new. If you do know most the basics of the game, then yes, yeah, stack two or three. But if you are new, then just do one at a time. After level 25 on the other factions, you do get a lot of better voyages too. Such as the Lost Shipment Voyages for Merchants and the Fleet for Order of Souls. Which they both get you more levels as you go on. So the best way to do this is probably just grind treasuries and shrines until you get to level 25 on each faction, then just do the better voyages as you go on. Well, thank you everyone so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. But you know what I'd appreciate more? You subscribing if you are new. So please, please, please subscribe and leave a comment what I should do next. And thank you again for everyone watching. I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Thank you so, so much, everyone.